giving and sharing and wanting to do so out of the intention of sharing love light, of becoming more of love light, him or herself, and sharing that with the rest of him or herself in the form of other creatures, which is simply just the same one being. And in addition, everything that you put out is what you get back as well. Everything reverberates all the time. So whatever your state of being exudes is what you'll receive. A, as your interpretation of that experience immediately, and B, quote unquote, seemingly in physical reality, later on in terms of a response from the universe that manifests itself in some kind of abundant, graceful way, because you've been graceful. Does that make sense? Does it resonate? To be a little more giving? To step a little bit more out of your comfort zone? To open up your home, in a sense, what you've considered your home? And there's a balance to this. But before you learn to balance, you first have to learn to open your doors. And the balance being the balance of love and wisdom. And at some point, it may actually be the wisest thing to do to close your doors. But before you can even consider saying that, you first need to really get a good sense of what it's like to love and to give and to be generous. I'm not saying that you don't. Many of you already have a, a good sense of that. But now in a more abundant sense where you actually realize, hey, I'm not giving this away because I should. I'm not giving this away because my mommy or daddy would condone it, would say, oh, that's a good boy, you're a good boy for giving that to someone else. And in the meantime, you feel really shitty about it because you still believe it's lacking. Now, the abundant way to be a giver, to be generous, is to also investigate your lack beliefs and to dispel these, to say, I'm going to give and I know, I trust, I have faith that as I give immediately, I'll be replenished somehow in some way. Therefore, I want to give. I want to be a flow. I want to be a conduit. I don't just want to give because it's the right thing to do, but I'll be lacking when I do it. Does that make sense? That's why many of us feel like they're burned out because they care too much about other people. It's because they don't actually unlock the valve. They just keep it closed and then give away what little they have. You got to open the valve. A way to open the valve is to give, to be generous in all way, every way. Anytime you feel like you can, anytime you feel like you want. But you have to also investigate the idea that lack exists and dispel it. That really opens the flow of abundance. Why can I give to you? I can give to you because I'm not lacking. How can I feel good about giving that which I love and appreciate to you, to someone else? That shirt I just bought, I gave it to you. <gasps> oh, oh, there's this little sting, this moment of sting. I just I spent hours shopping. I found the perfect shirt. I bought it and now it seems like you actually need it or desire it. I'm not saying you should give that away every time. I'm saying you can, and at least experiment with it. Otherwise, the wisdom can never be gained on top of that love. The love has to come first, in a sense. You cannot start with wisdom. You have to start with love, and then refine love with wisdom later on as you go. So love is the entrance point. Love is the first step in terms of expanding yourself and tapping into this flow of infinite abundance, which is actually the mechanism of the universe. It's structurally speaking, the energetic flow of the universe is infinite, endless possibility. Always, all the time, from any point of existence to any other point of existence. So you're never lacking in any point of existence, and you are a point of existence. You can never lack because you always have connections to every other point of existence. Because honestly, there's only one point of existence. So as you give, you are giving to yourself because there's only one point in existence. There's only one being in all of creation and it is all of you.